What's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today we're going to take a first look at a budget-friendly offering from our friends over at Motorola. This is the Moto E6. It's a phone you can pick up unlocked from Motorola directly also at Amazon.com for $150. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking this device out. Now like I mentioned you can get it unlocked or you can pick it up at a number of different carriers in the United States. It's available from Verizon, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, and Boost. And if you pick it up from Metro by T-Mobile right now it's actually free uh, with a new line of service so it is definitely a budget-friendly offering and there's no question that when you first pull this out of the box it has the feeling of a budget-friendly device so say that well the first thing that definitely makes it feel budget friendly is the fact that there is missing a fingerprint sensor so uh, in 2019 you definitely come to expect fingerprint sensors uh, nowadays also it comes with micro USB and in order to uh, replace the battery you have to actually pull off the back cover uh, so this is something that you haven't seen maybe in a little while especially from uh, more expensive phones but even cheaper phones typically aren't coming with removable batteries so if you like removable batteries this may be the phone for you too. Now this one has a 5.5 inch display. It is 720p. As far as the cameras go, we have a 5 megapixel selfie shooter. There is our speaker, also our earpiece, and then a 13 megapixel camera on the rear. We have, of course have a flash as well. On the right hand side of the phone, we have our power button and volume rocker. Uh, so the power button you can see does have a little bit of ridges so you can easily uh, recognize it. Now this one does come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so that's nice. We have a microphone there on the top and then we have our noise canceling microphone here on the bottom as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the internals of the Moto E6. So internally, this is running the Snapdragon 435 processor, which is a quad-core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. And uh, that's not a bad processor uh, for a phone at $150 price point, but probably the biggest limiting factor of this device when it comes to the internal specs is the fact that it only comes with two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. So as far as the internal storage, that 16 gigs of RAM is expandable via a micro SD card and so I'm pointing right back here because uh, if I were to take this battery case off right underneath in this section right here there is a sim slot and then also a spot to plug in a 256 gig or less uh, micro SD card so tons of extra possible internal storage uh, if you expand it via micro SD card but what I think is probably the biggest selling point of most Motorola phones especially their budget friendly ones is the software. So software wise, you can see, uh, I haven't added anything to this really. Uh, and pretty much the only thing you see here is mostly just stock Android apps. It does have FM radio, but we go in here into the settings and you can see the settings pretty much are stock. The one big exception being the Moto uh, settings here. Um, so that is also available here in the Moto app. So uh, you can see I already had selected it. Um, but within the Moto app, there are two things that really kind of set this apart from some other devices. So we have the Moto Actions. Um, so one of them that I really like is the fast flashlight. So basically you can double chop and turn on the flashlight. So let's go ahead and try that out. You can see that turns it on and double chop to turn it back off. And of course I hit some other things while I was doing that. We have one button nav, which you can see if you turn that off, it's going to give you your typical software key. So back home and recent apps. Um, but then you can also use that as one button nav. So now back is a slide over. If I hold it down, it's going to be my home option. Or if I go here, it's Google Assistant. So you can see that's going to go ahead and pop up. And then if I swipe up from there, it's going to go into our recent app. So that's what the one button nav will do. We'll go back into those Moto Actions. We have three finger screenshot. Um, that one I've had kind of a tough time getting to work real well on this device. Um, I'm not really exactly sure why. We'll go ahead and test it out again here in just little bit and then we have screenshot editor uh, we have flip to do not disturb pick up to silent media controls and swipe to shrink so those are our moto actions and then under moto display we have peak display and a ton of display uh, but honestly 
as far as Motorola goes, I really think that they have it right when it comes to just adding nice features to um, our software experience on a Android device. So this is, again, running Android 9.0, if I didn't already say that. Um, and again, it's pretty much just a stock version. So let's go ahead and try that three-finger screenshot, see if we can get that to work real quick. And of course, we're not going to get it to work. Yeah. All right, so I already mentioned the fact that this has a 5 megapixel selfie camera and a 13 megapixel rear camera, but now I want to go ahead and run through some of the settings on the camera itself. Um, so one thing I do like about Motorola phones is uh, some of the setting options you get within the camera. Um, so we have our uh, just regular go ahead and uh, point and shoot camera here. We have our video option here. If we click on that and you can of course swipe as well um, to get to those various options and then we have our other settings so here we have our portrait mode so that's if you want to take uh, pictures that have a blurred out background but of course that's only going to work with humans in the in the picture we have our color um, so spot color works quite well and I want to go ahead and show you just a real quick picture I took a little bit earlier uh, where I use spot color so you can see I took a picture of a little jackknife that I had and it's red and then everything else is black and white so that's a pretty cool feature you get on the Motorola phones and we'll go ahead and slide out of that and come back in here into the settings so we also have panorama live filter and then we have time lapse and YouTube live under the video mode so those are options you can see there is no slow-mo mode um, as far as video shooting on this camera we have 1080p on the front also 1080p full HD on the rear but you're not going to get any kind of video stabilization so that is not an option or a feature uh, that comes with the Moto E6 all right, so before I conclude my initial thoughts on the Moto E6, I want to go ahead and give you a quick listen to that front-facing speaker. And uh, honestly, I think that it's not all that bad. It's great that it's front-facing, but it is just a single speaker, uh, which is pretty typical of a phone at this $150 price point. So now I want to go ahead and give you my concluding first thoughts on the Moto E6. And I'm going to be honest with you and say that the Moto E6, honestly, for me, just feels like a phone that Moto is getting lazy on. Uh, they are really kind of making a phone, even though it is a budget friendly device. Let's keep it in mind that it's $150. But even at $150, there are definitely better options, in my opinion, than the Moto E6. Cameras, uh, phones that give you dual cameras, phones that give you fingerprint sensors even a nicer build quality so glass back which you know of course you can take it or leave it some people don't really like the glass back and the fact that this one has removable battery could be a selling point and the fact that it has stock software from Motorola that is a selling point for sure but overall I honestly think there are definitely better options out there one of them which I'll actually be unboxing and taking a first look at tomorrow night so stay tuned thanks for watching I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next video peace